Hey guys, this is Brandon from NorCal MedTech. Uh, this week uh, on California Gun Talk, we're going to be reviewing some of the John Willis original SOE gear. I'm going to go ahead and do both of the uh, individual first aid kit packs that he has. Uh, I've been using both of them for quite a uh, number of years. Uh, the first one that I'm really going to go over is the compact tear-off pouch. Uh, I wear it on a war rig or battle belt, however you want to refer to it as. Uh, fairly simple, both the uh, kits operate in the same way, they attach in the same way. You basically have a Molly uh, Velcro pad that then you can tear the pot pouch off of uh, that stays on there. Uh, this is a really great concept when you really think about who's going to be using this kit, if they're going to be using it on you, where you may be injured. Uh, it just does not make any sense to have something that's so fixed to a piece of gear, whether that be a vest, a bag, or your belt, that you can't actually get the whole kit off and then be able to move with it without spilling the contents all over the place. Um, this compact one is really the ideal perfect individual size. You'll see that it actually has some uh, webbing spots on the side. Uh, I see a lot of guys just putting like one tourniquet uh, on it. I like to just kind of put two of them. A lot of people I've seen just rubber band, also like a Silum uh, glow stick to it. It opens up with just some more ease of Velcro. On the inside you'll see you have one that's just a pouch section. The center has a large elastic band then also with two smaller spots and then this other side has three elastic uh, bands on there for, for stowing gear. So when you're looking at it, if you think about what you really need for your individual blowout kit, you're looking for something to stop that external hemorrhage, uh, deal with some sort of airway problem, and then also deal with that possible tension pneumothorax. Those are those three big killers out on the battlefield and in just trauma in general. So that's what you need to pack for. In this one you can see we have the two tourniquets on the outside. Uh, I store a MPA with the lube, never forget the lube. Uh, also just a regular trauma elastic trauma dressing, a uh, 12 gauge needle for decompression, some regular gauze in there. In the pouch I always keep extra gloves because no matter what I'm doing I want to go home at the end of the day to my family and not have something get me months, years later. Also some quick clot and a uh, small little fold out CPR mask. We like to put the first uh, the CPR mask in our kits basically because a lot of the people that are going to be training a lot they're going to have a lot more chance to save someone using that than any of the other uh, equipment. Like I said, it's the perfect size for that individual, whether you're training, whether this is your go-to rig next to your bed. However, whatever you're using it for, I prefer this size of his two kits. The second one is as main as the slightly bigger, but still it's an individual first aid kit pouch. You'll see that the back of it is Velcro. It mounts to a slightly larger uh, kit, but it's still in the same concept of one snap and it comes off obviously identifiable red handle so you can get to it, you know where to grab to tear off. It's slightly bigger, still the same kind of concept though. Uh, we have multiple rows of elastic webbing in here. Uh, we can keep multiple chest seals, some gauze, some quick clot, more tourniquets, uh, decompression needle, gloves. I got another uh, trauma dressing or compression bandage. Uh, for this one, what I do is I add in actually on the lower levels and the zip parts that would take me a little longer to get to. I add some of the boo-boo kit stuff in there. Just some tape, um, some slight little meds and stuff. I'm thinking that if I'm actually going to be running my armor, it means I'm probably going to have it on for a lot longer period. So therefore, even though it's not my primary go-to stuff, I still want it somewhere on my person for that helping me get done whatever I need to get done over the course of a day or two. Um, lots of little hidden space in here. And then also on the outside as well. Just more spots to kind of slide in whatever it is you feel you need. Just a kind of a quick note, both of these, when they're snapped in, it's very easy to keep a pair of shears to cut away gear, to cut away clothing, to get to where you need to get to actually apply some of this uh, equipment. So, um, both these products, uh, they're made 
of course by original SOE gear out of uh, Camden Tennessee they you know they they're kind of claim to fame is that they are bomb proof equipment and I've seen them do some of those demos live you can search around for that on YouTube if you want John makes great gear uh, we've always been happy with it. We've always gotten it when we needed it, when we wanted it, uh, custom, whether it was custom stuff or whether just as regular line production stuff. So look them up at originalsoegear.com. Uh, if you want some of the training on medical gear of how to use what goes in these kits, go ahead and go to norcalmedtac.com. Uh, we also sell our own blowout kits that fit in these things perfect. And don't forget to check out uh, California Gun Talk either live Wednesday nights or at CaliforniaGunTalk.com and Facebook. All those companies are on there with the same name. Thanks a lot.